Hello, Mark here at Mark's Upholstery. I am starting a new project for a decorator and we are building some custom dining room chairs. building these off of a picture but in addition to that we're using the dimensions of a set of chairs that she has now that she believes is comfortable the client believes is comfortable and so we're gonna make these chairs sit the same way those set here's a picture of the chair that we are mimicking the sizes on uh, it's a little out of date it's got kind of the rolled arms and that old uh, old style look and we're doing a more modern update look so but here's that picture. All right, here's a picture of the chair that I am currently building for this customer. When I had the chair in here, uh, I took the basic dimensions off of the chair, you know, for the, the seat height, you know, the back height, the arm height, the seat depth, and seat width. Of course, we're building four of these, and then I convert them over to the numbers that I need to uh, own my parts, like my front rail, my back rail, side rails, arm post, and back post. I always start one of these jobs by laying out my basic numbers here. And what I have here, and I've already cut these, are my back posts. And what they are is, you know, you've got the leg, and then in this area, the rails come off. Of course, then you'll have your back come off over here, and then there'll be some arms. I've still got to cut some little notches here for my arms. All right, because the wood that came in for these uh, is a, just a little too wide, which is okay, uh, I'm gonna have to thin these down to the size they need to be for this project. All right, I now have these legs properly cut and I'm ready to mark the side rails for them. I got all my legs marked you know with both all their markings I'm gonna start sanding these lower parts of these legs and this sanding is just kind of an initial sanding I'll go back we'll go back later with uh, 220 uh, to actually do the finish before we put the stain on them Sanding process is always going to knock your lines off, so I had to go and remark those. And so I've got these now uh, this far, and the last thing I need to do is is to put my notches somewhere up in here where the uh, top arm will rest on that as a nice sturdy spot. I've decided that my arm posts are going to be 24 inches, so that means that I need to measure up 24 inches on my back post and draw a line and then I'll do a little what's kind of looks like a little L cut out and that's where my arm top arm will set. What I'm gonna make now is the, uh, what you would consider the leg post or front post uh, or arm post uh, for these chairs.
Okay, so you can see where I've taken it off here and then flared it out here a half inch. And then I take it off on the inside a little bit from that point and I want that flat all the way down through here. Okay, now I've got my post. You can see it has a slight flare on it there. And now I'm gonna cut out down here for the leg. That's kind of the design I'd like for this leg, but it'll be under a skirt, so it's really not that important, but it, at least it won't look like an old blocky leg underneath. And I'll, then I'll after, I, you know, and this is five inches up here. And after I get this cut out, I'll do the same thing as I did with the back post. I'll sand this area on the lower end. Right, I now have my arm post with the markings I need for the rails. This will be a three inch rail. This will be a three and a half inch rail because I'll be putting six inch springs in here. Got the three and a half and got the three here. Okay, what I need to do right now is go ahead and start cutting rails, which means I'm gonna rip some three and a half inch wood and I'm gonna rip some three inch wood. And I'm not gonna show you this because it's just redundant and noisy and boring. All right, I got my front rail, my back rail, and my two side rails. Now I'm gonna take these side rails and I'm gonna miter them 3%. Across this top back will be a two and a half inch board that'll set flush, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those boards. I learned a long time ago, it's easier to pre-drill as much as you can going down than it is to do it and do them as you go with the frames up. So I've marked out where I wanna drill. I've got a couple here for this rails and this side, you know, the left, right, here and here. And then I've got my holes here and here here and here, and then I've got a couple more up here.
In the next video, I'll be putting springs in that chair. In the video after that, I'll be doing the full upholstery on it. So you don't wanna miss these videos coming up. So hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you'll know when these videos come out. Thanks.